My name is Derek Hullinger. I have a PhD in physics, and I'm going to explain how you write an expression that stands for all odd integers. So suppose that you have to insert something into an equation that, that represents just integers that are odd, or just integers that are even. We'll start with even ones first, because they're easy. So here's a really good way to do it. If you write 2n, where n is any integer, then notice what that means. That means that if, if n is 0, then 2n is also 0. But if n is 1, 2n is 2. And if n is 2, 2n is 4, and so on. So 2n is always guaranteed to be an even integer no matter what. So to do an odd integer, you do something pretty similar. Instead of 2n, you actually do 2n plus 1. So it's really slick. And again, you say n is any integer. So as long as n is an integer, for example, if n is 0, then 2n plus 1 will be 1. If n is 1, then 2n plus 1 will be 3. If n is 2, then 2n plus 1 will be 5, and so on. So you're always guaranteed to get an odd integer if you use that formula right there, and as long as you make sure that n is an integer of any kind.